All right, we're going to uh, show you how we rig up for trolling tidewater for Chinook and Coho. Uh, and this is one of our North Fork composite custom built rods. This is a ten and a half foot mooching blank built up. Uh, it works great for both float fishing Chinook and then also trolling in tidewater. It's got a nice soft tip to absorb violent takes when you're trolling. So we're going to show you how we uh, rig up for trolling. Uh, the first thing, and we've been doing this, I think it, it helps, is using a slider as, as your dropper. So this is tied up here. This is just a little slide slider tube with a, just a little dropper piece here. And uh, this dropper is about a foot long. You could run you know, anywhere well, from 12, 18, 24 inches, kind of whatever. Um, you prefer uh, this has worked fine for us I think kind of the average is like 18 inches uh, so this is what's going to get your weight down to the bottom so we're going to slide this on our main line here and we're using a, a 60 pound braid braided line uh, we're going to slide this on our line here then the next thing we're going to do is slide a bead or two beads and you can also get those cone beads and put one of those on the top and on the bottom to help keep grass and stuff off your line. So the next part of the rig is uh, this little separator that goes in between uh, your dropper and your lead and your flasher and this is uh, 50 pound mono. You want it pretty stiff that way it doesn't tangle up very easy um, and then we have these swivels on each side and these ones here come on this end come with the flashers uh, we use a lot of cone zone but a lot of the brand companies come with them and they got a snap on the end so we've got this one tied up it's about 24 inches we're going to tie this end to our main line after we slid on our dropper and again we're going to use the uh, fish and full knot it's a great knot you can learn how to tie it in uh, the knot section of the website. So now we've got our slider and this kind of bumper separator. And at this point, we're going to tie on our flasher. It's a UV cone zone. Had a lot of luck with these. And this is kind of the basic uh, first step here. The reason we like to use a slider for our lead is when you're trolling and a salmon takes it, if this is allowed to slide, then he's going to pull on your main night line and not feel the lead below. And a lot of times you'll get drive-bys where the fish will slam your rod. I think a lot of times they're feeling that weight, so they're spitting out the herring real quick. This allows your lead to uh, be a lot less tension on the fish when they grab your line. So, And it, it works really well and doesn't tangle up that often. So the next part is the leader, which you can pre-tie. Pre-tie all of our reader, leaders uh, ahead of time so that when you're out fishing, if there's a good bite going on, you can get back in the water quickly. We use double and triple rigs depending on the size of the bait and these have a, another um, swivel attached at the other end too that will go right into the flasher so it's just real quick and easy with salmon fishing you want to be prepared with any fishing steelhead salmon um, but chinook definitely want to be prepared ahead of time. So this is a triple hook rig and you can tie it up really easy. Um, what you do is you tie on the back hook with the fishing full knot first and then you slide and set your distance that you want as you slide the hook down and then you tie egg loop knots with the next one and then the top one and this will be set up to sit in the body of the herring here and this will be hanging back oh, nice fish <laughs> this will be hanging back here uh, just in case it short strikes it so this is about a five foot leader 
which is pretty good. And then we're using 30 pound CXX on this, uh, a little bit lighter than we used in between the flasher. That way, if you get um, snagged up on the bottom, you're not going to lose your flasher. You just use your your leader, and then you can just retie um, from the the pre-tied ones you have. So we're going to snap this into the flasher. Now we've got our slider, our lead, a little bumper with 50 pound to our flasher. And you want these swivels on, it, it helps keep your line because it's constantly spinning. It helps you keep from being tangled too badly. Uh, and then our leader down to our triple hook rig for herring. So now that we've got the whole rig uh, set up here, you're going to want to put your lead on. And what we did on this dropper is we just tied a knot, a loop with a knot in it, just kind of an overhand uh, knot, and you leave a loop at the end, and that'll allow you to take your lead here, which, depending on the river, you want to be on the bottom. Um, umqua, six, eight ounces works well, depending on the tide and which way, uh, how fast the tide's coming in. So I used to law, um, guys run six, uh, five, six, seven ounces. Uh, so there's, you got your lead on there. Uh, and then this is how it can slide on the leader. Now what you want is when you're trolling, you want your dropper, your lead on the bottom, and you want to feel it down there and make sure you're staying on the bottom. That way the salmon hang out on the bottom. And here we're, you know, a foot and a half off the bottom. That's where the fish are going to be. Um, and this is quick and easy. If uh, the tide starts to rip a little bit more, you can pop this off and put a little heavier lead on. It's just important to make sure you're on the bottom. Another rig we use um, instead of the triple rig with herring is we'll fish spinners. Trolling spinners work really well. Um, here's an example of one of our favorites. This is a Coast Guard. And uh, if you're in the Eugene area, Mike at Oregon Rod Reel and Tackle makes these really good spinners. They work great for coho and also Chinook kind of gives the fish a little something different to look at when they see bait all day. Uh, you rig up this the same way, uh, five foot leader tied directly to the spinner and uh, you have your swivels here and attach it to your flasher. Another important part you want to make sure is that your dropper is lighter than everything. I think we're using like a 10 pound dropper. This gets hung up, you want it to break off easily and get back to fishing. Uh, and then all you lose is your lead instead of your flasher and your whole rig. So make sure you use a real light dropper, uh, heavy in this uh, separator here from the flasher to your dropper, and then uh, a little bit lighter leader, 30 pound. We're using 50, 30 for the leader, and 10 or 15 for the dropper. Uh, this is a really great rig for catching Chinook and Coho down in Tidewater.